All right, we've been talking about this for, well, it seems like forever, but the eclipse is finally now upon us. Right around 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, the moon will move in front of the sun and we will go partially dark. Jeff Van Sant joins us live right now with what we can expect. Jeff. So it turns out, you know, to uh, total eclipses are not a rarity around the world, but here in the U.S., last time we saw one was in 1979. So it is going to be really cool for all of us to be able to experience this, see this, because this will be a once in a lifetime kind of thing. But it's going to be even more cool for scientists. A total eclipse doesn't come around that often. For a little under three minutes, the forces of darkness ruled in daylight. It was a huge event in 1979, and it's a huge event now. Monday morning, the U.S. will look to the skies and witness something they might not see for the rest of their lifetime. It was the last total eclipse of the sun for North America until the year 2017. It seems those solar eclipse glasses are more valuable than gold. If you use glasses not approved to view the eclipse, you can permanently damage your eyes in a matter of seconds. With the frenzy to get them, fakes are becoming a problem. They're called ISO 123. 12-2. You have to make sure that it has ISO certification printed on the inside of the solar glasses. Now in terms of what you will see, it could be breathtaking. The sun is about 400 times farther away than the moon, and the moon is 400 times smaller than the sun. So when the moon gets between us, it actually blocks out the disk of the sun. Eclipses occur more than you actually think, but the last time we saw one here in the U.S. was in the 70s. And when we go dark, you'll notice some changes. If you're watching the total eclipse, you can actually feel it get colder when the sun is entirely behind the moon. Here in the valley, it won't be a perfect eclipse, but still amazing. It will be about 70% of the sun covered. As you go north, that will be a little bit more uh, as you get closer and closer to the path of totality. An event like this is a scientist's dream come true. You can learn so much from effects to the atmosphere, how it affects energy, and how we can learn more about the sun, like solar flares or the outermost part of the sun's atmosphere called the corona. It's difficult to observe all the physics that's going on there because the disk of the sun is so bright. But with the eclipse, we have the opportunity to see that thin strip much more clearly. I think it'll be interesting to see how cold it will actually get, especially here in the valley. We're not going to see a total eclipse, but it's going to be pretty close. So, of course, you have to have one of these to actually look at the eclipse. Probably can't find one anymore, but if you do have one, make sure it has the uh, ISO certification inside of those glasses. Guys, back to you.